next I would like to invite uh, the reason that I ended up being here uh, at all. I think the person uh -oh. who is uh, who I'm talking about, uh, there is a particular poet in our audience who many of you have seen perform. If you like what she has to say, why don't you check her out at the open mic tonight also at 8 p.m. downstairs. I'll be back and I'll play a different song. Um, there is ice cream melting in the dining room. Literally, if you ordered some food already, go in there and get it. Uh, the last order of the last couple things I do need to call in. I actually was on the phone three times thinking the comedian had finished. Hung up the phone, ran outside to notice that he had only paused. Um, yes. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm taking up too much of your time. Angela, Brett, would you please take... <laughs> I haven't exactly decided what I'm going to do, but um, this is a request from Phil earlier, um, which is really long, so I haven't memorized it. Um, is anyone here in the, the JCC CFF group? Child Free Forever? No? <laughs> no, not this time. No, <laughs> no okay, not yet. Well, this is called uh, The Family Tradition. Your father, his father, and his before that, your mother, her mother, and all the way back, have kept a tradition by chance or by will to each have a baby or several until the flames pass to you, but now you have a choice. But don't join the choir until you find your own voice. Creating a person is a huge thing to try. You can if you want, but first think about why. Not to continue this age-old tradition. Not to be sure that your life has a mission. Not for a, for a god or a country or norm. Or not for a lot or the whim of a hormone. Not for a vague or instinctive desire. Not just to copy the folks you admire. Not out of fear you'll leave nothing behind. Not that your DNA outdoes your mind. Not because you're bright, so you should spread your genes. Not because you're dim and don't know what that means. Not to rebel against mom and dad's view. Not because they want their vengeance on you. Not as a snake oil to quiet your fears that you might feel a twinge of regret in ten years. Not when your body clock's ticking through dates and you're always, you're always a sucker for by now, don't wait. Not because well-behaved babes tug your heart. Not so your parents can relive that part. Not because your, pa your partner would like to have some. Not because you're grateful that dad convinced mum. Not because you've thought of a name you must give or thinks you'd do better if you could relive. Not when a thoughtless mistake involved sex. Not because you're married and that's what comes next. Not because because all of your friends ask why not. Not because they're doing well with their lot. Not because you're told that it's selfish to live without making a beggar to whom you can give. Not because parents say nothing else matters. Not to add blue to a romance in tatters. Not because children learn more tricks than cats. Not to prove that your kids would never be brats. Not so your welfare amount will be going up. Not because you think it'll make you a grown-up. Not so they'll pay for your food in old age. For pyramid schemes have to collapse at some stage. Not to fulfill a perceived need for love. Not if you're not sure when push comes to shove. Not because you read this and thought, this'll show him. Not for the sentiment closing this poem. But only because you adore helping youth and can't think of life without living that truth. You know that their lifelong love's not guaranteed and you're yearning to face unconditional need of a boy, girl, or intersexed, well, sick, or crippled, dunce, saint, or murderer, one, twins, or triple. You're deeply concerned with the resources you borrow may add to the hardship of grand grandkids tomorrow and realize your efforts to curb your consumption are more than undone if you make the assumption that your kids survive and continue to breed and their kids spawn ever more hungers to feed. Raising a person is your lifelong dream, and not just a gesture to race with the team. Then go ahead and try to conceive, but know this. It's not just a baby that's made in all this. 
You remake yourself as you start your new quest, as parent first up, and then some of the rest. From baby's perspective, you've made the whole world. You've led them from nowhere to cosmos unfurled. So enjoy your big bang, and enjoy your inflation, and cherish your well-informed act of creation. Second? There has been a second. Who is the second? Here. I is think he it might be asleep in there. Is it that guy? Who might be that guy? It might be that guy. <laughs> nice. So I that's. I've just come back from the dead. There's a seat right there for you, sir. We've already ordered from the dining room. They have now cut us off. <laughs> they said no more. And this is ridiculous. It's going to take an hour for the next set of food. I don't know. I think it'll be here soon, though. Um, excellent. So go ahead and do one more for us. We don't have that many people signed up. If you would like to sign up, I do have a free drink for you um, as a bogus incentive. Um, and yes, I'm going to go hang out with these guys. Do you have any requests? Or should I do the one that I was thinking of doing for the open mic tonight? I think you should ask them. Yeah. What do you like poems about? Like, I don't know, love, science? Science! science. Love and science! Science, love, science. I did a couple of years ago at the open mic, um, but I don't know if I want to do a, be a repeat. Um, I was there. Okay, does anybody have a fake mustache? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it just looks that way. Well, yeah, I mean, I have quite a few that are kind of science-y love poems, but that's the one that came to mind. Um, well, let's see, let's see what other options there are for science and love, because I have a few. Um, but we'll do that one. I'll wait for my mustache. All right, I think we're ready. I haven't practiced this one recently, so I'm just going to check. He's kind of Speaking to a female of the same species. So, um, I, see, I may be a nerd, but I know a few things about love. I've read all about it in the <laughs> Scientist magazine. Um, so this is a bit of what I learned. There's a video online. It's called Chemistry, and it has some like cliff notes and stuff. So if there are any words you don't understand. to meet you. You seem just right to me. Your estrogenic features and facial symmetry. And even just the scent of you is a whiff of possibility. It shows without a centrifuge our histocompatibility. Whenever we're caressing, they find you quite engrossing. I'm filled with vasopressin, endorphins, and oxytocin. Your mouth is like no other. 
I kept your kiss-stained cup. Oh, be my children's mother, your DNA stacks up. <laughs> I actually skipped the stanza, hang on, I'm gonna get back. Um, uh, oh, um, our closeness is the savior of my head and of my heart, inhibiting the causes of my cardial infarction. Hold tight while we make love, and during this sweet tact, I'll be glad I had the nerve, especially sea tactile. What's that? My antiphosphodiesterase? You say you were conscious too? In that case, I'll rephrase. I meant that I love you. <laughs> it would be awesome. Food? Is my food here? Is my food here yet? So like well, urban food and like a lot of this stuff, they just it's like room service here all the time. Mm -hmm.